Hello everyone. Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about stages of wound healing. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. The learning objectives we will be discussing in this video are what is wound, different stages of wound healing, and factors affecting the wound healing. Let's get into the session. What is a wound? A wound is an injury or breakdown in the skin or underlying tissues. Wounds can range in severity from minor cuts and scrapes to deep lacerations or ulcerations, mainly caused by trauma, surgery, burns, or chronic conditions. Now comes Different stages of wound healing. Wound healing typically occurs in several stages and they are hemostasis, inflammatory phase, proliferative phase, and remodeling phase. Wound healing stages can vary in duration depending on the type and severity of the wound. Let's discuss them one by one. First is hemostasis. This is the first stage of wound healing that occurs immediately after an injury. It involves vasoconstriction, which means constriction of blood vessels to reduce blood flow. Platelets in the blood aggregate at the site of injury and form a blood clot that is thrombus to stop bleeding and release various factors that initiate the healing process. Clotting factors help strengthen the clot and the wound begins to stabilize. Next is the inflammatory phase. The inflammatory phase starts shortly after the injury and lasts for a few days approximately 1 to 5 days. First vasodilation that is dilation of blood vessels near the wound may lead to increased blood flow. Next is the vascular permeability. Vascular permeability will be increased which allows immune cells and growth factors to enter the wound site. Next, migration of WBCs. Neutrophils and macrophages migrate to the wound site to remove bacteria, debris and damaged tissue through a process called phagocytosis. Next what happens is these white blood cells, growth factors and other factors causes redness, swelling, heat and pain around the wound. Next is the proliferative phase. What happens here is there is formation of new tissues to replace the damaged or lost tissue and this lasts for 2 to 20 days. Granulation is nothing but a new connective tissue and blood vessels that form on the surface of a wound. Granulation is driven by collagen that is produced by specialized cell called fibroblasts. This granulation tissue appears pink or in red. Next is epithelialization and contraction. Epithelialization and wound contraction are interrelated processes that work together to facilitate wound closure. In contraction, wound edges gradually pull closer together and reducing the wound's size and this is driven by specialized cells called myofibroblasts. Epithelialization Here, Epithelial cells at the wound edges multiply and migrate to cover the wound surface. Angiogenesis occurs where new blood vessels grow into the wound during the proliferative phase. This process called angiogenesis is essential for delivering oxygen, nutrients, growth factors and immune cells to the wound site. The last is remodeling phase which may occur 21 days to months or years. Here collagen synthesis and remodeling occurs. Collagen fibers are rearranged 
and cross-linked to increase the strength of the wound. The scar tissue gradually becomes stronger but not regain the full strength of the original tissue. There is decreased vascularity that is blood vessels in the healed wound decrease and the wound appears paler. In this phase there is scar formation that is the wound is filled with scar tissue which is composed primarily of collagen fibers. So these are the phases of wound healing. Now comes common factors affecting the wound healing. First is age. Wound healing will take time for old age. Next is poor nutrition. Lack of protein, vitamins and minerals such as zinc and iron can delay wound healing. Next is chronic medical conditions. Conditions like diabetes, chronic hyperglycemia, and immune disorders can affect the healing. Next is medications. Chemo drugs, corticosteroids, or immunosuppressive drugs interfere with wound healing. Next is infection. Infections at the wound site can delay wound healing. Next is psychological factors. Stress, anxiety, and depression can affect wound healing. Next is wound characteristics. Large, deep, or complex wounds may take longer to heal. So, so far we have discussed what is wound, different stages of wound healing, and factors affecting the wound healing. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe it. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.